So it's about 4.30 in the morn uh, afternoon. I have yet to eat anything today. Um, I was in the middle of cooking breakfast this morning at about like 8.30 or 9. I was making bacon and eggs. And then the kids told me that George right here was basically dead. And so I went into the cage and pulled him out. And he was. He was struggling to breathe. He was completely limp. And just basically... Um, he was on his way to dying. So I have literally sat in this chair all day long with this heating pad trying to revive him, giving him a mixture of water with um, food and hay and um, some probiotics and uh, emergency and everything and just forcing it down his mouth. And um, he somehow revived himself and is even eating on his own. So I don't know if he'll make it or not, but, uh, it's a little miracle. I, I said a lot of prayers to be honest, but, um, yeah, so I sat in this chair from about nine o'clock until now at four thirty, and haven't had anything to eat. The only thing I've had is sole with or water with sole and potassium and magnesium. So kind of weird, an extremely weird day. Definitely not what I was planning on doing with my day, but I just felt like I had to try to save this little guy. He's eating some hay and some parsley and kale, a couple of nibbles of apple. Um, he he definitely has a, some kind of something going on, but he we notice he has like a, um, looks like maybe one of his siblings bit off a little part of his toe, which is really gruesome. So I, um, put a bunch of triple antibiotic on that too. So I don't, I don't know if he got like some kind of a shock from that or an infection from it or what. I have no idea, but I'm just glad that he's, he's, he's sleeping kind of right now, eating, sleeping. He's tired. He's been awake most of the day trying to breathe. Um, so anyway, that is what has been going on today so far. Hooray. It's like seven 30 and I'm finally able to eat. And I'm eating a bunch of wings. I already ate one um, before I remembered to record. Okay, so I had two of these. They're not as good as the caramel ones, but they're pretty good. These ones also are two, I think two net carbs per thing, and the caramel ones are one net carb per thing. So next time I probably won't buy the peanut butter ones, but they work in a pinch. Well, <clears throat> it's almost midnight. And I'm just now getting to bed. Got a little makeshift bed on the couch. So we got a little makeshift bed for George. Um, he's doing okay. Miraculously, we prayed a lot, so that was good. And then we've just been feeding him. We got some goat's milk and have been feeding him that. Um, <clears throat> we did try getting Lola out by herself and having him nurse on her, but that didn't work. And then we were a little afraid that whatever sickness he has, he could pass, <clears throat> pass to her and she'd pass it to the other baby. So we gave her a bath and then we've just been taking care of him by ourselves right now. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, I think he has a respiratory infection, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So, we're just going to play it by ear and see how things go. But, when we took our pigs to the vets before, when they had respiratory, upper respiratory infections, they um, couldn't save them. So, I'm a little bit hesitant to even do that, just because we've been able to manage to get him okay. Maybe he didn't, maybe he just had a cold, and since he's so little... It wasn't going well, I don't know, but he's doing really good right now. Anyway, um, that's all I had today for food, and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get a lot of stuff done, And because I didn't do anything today, really. I did a couple loads of laundry, and that's about it, so I really got to be more productive tomorrow. So, hope you had a great day. Um, we started out having kind of a weird day, but ended up being really blessed that this little guy's still breathing and eating and stuff. So 
I will check in with you later.